everybody welcome to this channel uh, myself yash ranga i am a third year medical student uh, from a government medical college in rajasthan in india and i took my exam very recently on 27th of july 2023 so a lot of people have asked me like uh, what are your resources what was your timeline how did you prepare for how long did you prepare and how did you manage your college exams along with the usml step 1 preparation so these are very genuine questions and it displays a curiosity within you so see first of all let's start uh, by talking about my resources see first of all if you are an aspirant who is uh, who is starting to prepare or is currently in the phase of preparation of usml step 1 the number one thing you should do is build your concepts see usml is not a test of your memory it's a test of your concepts it's a test of your application So the number one thing you should do is to build your concepts. Video lectures I would recommend you to use for your concept would be Kaplan. See, Kaplan videos are very comprehensive set of videos. Uh, the professors there are amazing. For example, uh, biochemistry professor, the physiology professor, they are amazing. So if you want to build your concepts, Kaplan is the way to go. But there is one issue that if you solve your world questions um, after doing Kaplan, then it won't be a very good option. See. Kaplan videos aren't very polished to solve the U world questions. To solve the U world questions, you have to move to some specific resources which are specific to the questions of USML. <coughs> Now, that was the first resource which was Kaplan. Second, second resource is U world. It is the most important resource which you could use for your USML step one journey. See, U world is a comprehensive set of three thousand seven hundred questions. it contains uh, great questions it contains questions of the exact usml style sometimes they are a bit tougher but the explanations which you world has or which you world provides are the best they are the best texts which you can read or which you can study from i haven't read a book or any journal or any question bank which has better explanations than you world it literally has the best explanations out there but the issue is U world demands time, and U world demands concepts. So, where you will build your concepts from? Kaplan. But as I told you, you won't be able to do your questions very efficiently. So, for that, here comes in the third resource, which is First Aid. Now, First Aid is the book to go. What I mean by that is, if you read First Aid religiously, then you will be able to solve more than seventy percent of the U world questions directly. like even without building the concepts but you should use kaplan first aid and u world in conjunction so if you do a unit from kaplan then jump over to first aid read the same unit cram it up you have to cram it up see that is a, a harsh reality you have to cram up first aid you have to build your concepts from kaplan now you jump over to u world so after doing um, kaplan first aid and u world most of the information would get consolidated in your head but now if you are having issues with pathology which most of you might have so what you should do is pathoma pathoma is the way to go for pathology so uh, read pathoma read first aid and jump over to u world if you have done these three then your pathology would be fantastic now next let's go to our next resource which is nbmes See NBMEs are a set of questions it is basically a set of mock tests so what NBME does is it takes the older questions from uh, the older USMLE exams the real exams paraphrases them changes the options a bit and then provides you as a question paper to practice on their website so uh, why are NBMEs important see there are exact repeats from NBMEs in the main exam the images might repeat the exact question might repeat maybe there would be a bit of wording change but the exact question will repeat at least 5 to 6 questions from all the nbmes would repeat in your main exam see in my exam i had around uh, 7 to 8 repeats from nbmes so if you want to know my nbme scores i will put them here you can pause the video you can read them now if you have done all these five resources now some people might ask like what about sketchy what about pixarize what about boards and beyond see let's talk about boards and beyond first 
Boards and Beyond is a great video resource. It basically tells you what you need for the USMLE exam. It uh, it flows in parallel to the first aid. But I think Boards and Beyond is a bit monotonous. But your opinion might vary. But in my opinion, it was very monotonous, so it didn't work out well for me. But, but for some topics, I used Boards and Beyond, but not for all of it. Mainly, I used Kaplan, First Aid, Pathoma, uh, U-Board, and NBMEs, which I have already told you. Now, let's go to Sketchy and Pixorize. <coughs> See, Sketchy or Pixorize, they are basically visual or video mnemonics. So what they do is they basically tell a story to you. Uh, they would basically uh, put some uh, voices, maybe some background score, maybe some background music, and they would try to make a mnemonic out of it for some specific disease or bacteria or virus or something. So that is a very effective technique to learn, specifically for pharmacology and microbiology. In my opinion, Sketchy and Pixorize, they both are great. But what I used was Pixorize. But I would like to mention that this video is not sponsored by anybody. But Pixorize was the better resource in my opinion because uh, they are a bit more interesting as compared to Sketchy. But your opinion might vary, and you might choose any one which suits you. Now let's discuss about my timeline. So I didn't divide my timeline into some dedicated or pre-dedicated phase. I prepared throughout six months for the exam. And here, what I would like to say is. Uh, I would not suggest to divide your preparation into some pre-dedicated or dedicated phase. If you prepare for like four hours every day, if you study for like four hours every day for continuously six months, then you would be able to pass the exam easily. So it's no big deal. But you have to be consistent. Consistency is the king here. So uh, like if you if you divide your preparation into some uh, pre-dedicated or dedicated phase. It would be like 16 hours a day of study in the dedicated phase, so that would not make much sense. So, like if you study for four hours each day, that would be more than enough. But you have to do it consistently for more than six months, or at least a six months. For first two months, it was Kaplan, U World, and First Aid. In the next three months, I used uh, U World, First Aid, and Pathoma. So I almost watched the Pathoma videos for two times, and read the book for three times. Okay. The last one month, I did NBMEs. I did NBMEs 24 to 31. Then I did Free 120. Free 120 is basically a set of 120 questions, which is provided by the NBME itself. They are free to use. Uh, they would be available on their website. So you can take the test in uh, maybe in a PDF form or on the uh, website itself. But what I mean here is you have to do NBMEs. See, there would be exact repeats. I can guarantee that. At least one image would repeat in your exam. I also did uh, U World self assessments, like I did U World self assessment one, UWSA two, both of them. Uh, if you want to know what I scored in them, here is the score. Now, some people asked me like how you managed your uh, university exams or your college exams along with your USMLE step one preparation. So see, what I did was I just prepared for my USMLE, and my exams actually cleared automatically. I started my preparation in my second year. I studied pathology from Pathoma. I studied microbiology from first aid, Kaplan, and then uh, I studied pathology from Kaplan, and then I solved U world of all these subjects. So it was a cakewalk for me, and so would be for you. See, if you solve U world efficiently, if you read the stuff for USMLE nicely, religiously, then it would be very easy for you to crack your college exams. They are no big deal. So guys, this was it. This was the video. Please do like the video, subscribe to the channel and share the video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.